Welcome to Group MR's presentation, where we'll be talking about how to take a psychiatric history. So the aim of the history is to understand the problems, they understand the problems faced by your patient, to understand the symptoms that the patient encounters, and to understand the effect that this has on their day-to-day -day life. The history is often followed by a mental state exam, and together these can be used as the basis for diagnosis. It's also important to note that the consultation itself can be of therapeutic value. So first of all, it's important to prepare your setting. So ensure that the environment is safe for both you and your patient. Ensure that the surroundings are private and try to avoid any interruptions. Sit at a slight angle to the patient as sitting in front of them can appear confrontational. Um, ensure you have any materials you need to take notes and ensure that you have a pack of tissues on hand. At the start of the interview, it's important to put the patient to tease by introducing yourself, explaining your role and introducing anyone else who's going to be with you in the consultation. Explain that you need to take notes, but that these notes will be, and the entire cons uh, consultation will be confidential. It's important to keep the consultation relaxed, even if time is pressured. Appear interested in the patient's response and maintain appropriate eye contact. Begin with general questions. Tell me about the problems you've been having, and how is your appetite? Try to avoid any leading questions, such as, you have a poor appetite, don't you? Encourage the patient to talk by leaning forward nodding, and help them to talk about painful or embarrassing topics by being non-judgmental and acknowledging any distress. So we're now going to run through a mock consultation with a vet two weeks after her discharge from hospital. The history is going to involve the following topics. The presenting complaint, the history of the presenting complaint, family history, personal history, past psychiatric history, past medical history, substance use, drug history, forensic history, personality, and current social situation. Hi there, I'm Georgie, one of the doctors at the practice. Um, and you're, you're here, uh, you met for your follow-up mm -hmm. following your hospital admission a couple of weeks ago, is that right? Yeah. So how are you feeling today? Feeling okay. Um, not all too sure what the fuss is about, to be fair. I was, I was fine, it was just a, just a bad day. How's your appetite now? Um, it's, it's good, normal as it could be. Um, I think I've been eating, eating more properly. Um, even though the girls kind of remark a bit sometimes, but I'm sort of like, I don't really care as much. You know, I'll eat however much I want to, kind of thing. Yeah. Does your appetite change like throughout the course of the day? Um, well, I, I generally eat kind of smaller amounts. Um, I don't know, I just, sometimes certain things during the day affect me and I, I tend not to eat as much. Um, I wouldn't say during the day, I'd say other things perhaps, but yeah. Are you uh, overeating or drinking? Um, not, well, there, there was one event last week that sort of let drama not really talk about it. Um, yeah, that was just a one-off. I don't, I don't tend to know. Okay. Is that um, making yourself sick or not? Um, on a couple of occasions, yeah. Mm -hmm. So how long has it been going on? Um, I guess it kind of really started when I came to uni. Um, just a bit more aware of how the other girls kind of look. And aware that I'm, I don't really fit in in that sense. Of a sense of inadequacy and just awkwardness to be fair. So, yeah, I guess since I came to uni this year. Yeah. So, has it gotten worse since you've come to uni? Um, well, to be fair, I didn't really have much sense of this before, so yeah, I'd, I'd say so. So, does anything make it worse? Um, I mean, I love, I love the girls, I love being with them, but just Sometimes certain nights when we go out and everyone's kind of getting ready and you know everyone looks their best and you just sort of get a sense of how unlike them you are in a way. I don't know. I feel like I stick out like a sore thumb sometimes. Um, so how much are you eating at the moment? Um, I'm eating enough. I'm eating regular meals. Um, uh, well, on and off. I, I tend to skip some sometimes just because, you know, 
just if I don't have the time or if I don't feel like it, but generally normal meals. The girls sometimes say that my portion sizes could be better, but you know, if I feel like I'm eating enough, then yeah. So how do you feel about your body image at the moment? Um, well, if you ask anyone that question, um, there's always things I feel like I can improve. Like my waist would be a bit smaller. Um, have more toned legs or you know general kind of inadequacies. I'm sure most girls have something. Um are you using any um, water tablets or laxatives? No. That's good. Um how's your mood? My mood's fine. Um better than it was last week. It just tends to fluctuate but sometimes a bit irritable but that's not everyone has an off day right so is your mood related to your eating? I, I don't know, to be fair. It could be. I, I wouldn't put them together, but yeah. How are you sleeping at the moment? Um, okay, but uh, certain nights I'm sometimes kept awake, just, you know, just not worries. Um, just kind of thinking about how it goes and how I looked during the day and sometimes certain Remarks people make or looks that people give me it's kind of stuck in my head and replaying. But you know, well that's that's you know that's normal, isn't it? Um, are you preoccupied with food? No, no, not so much. Um, but sometimes it's the least of my worries. <laughs> so I'm going to ask you a few more detailed questions, but I don't worry too much. Um, I have to ask everyone these questions. So. Okay. Um. Have you ever um, had suicidal thoughts? No. Um, what was your self-esteem like before you came to the uni? A lot better. I was around my parents and, you know, I was pretty close to them. And obviously I don't see them as much now, but I was a lot more comforted and, well, I generally felt a lot more comfortable and less aware of how I looked around them. Yeah. Because <coughs> they weren't judgy in any particular way. So, um, what's your home life like? Um, yeah, it's good. I mean, like I said, I'm close with my parents, but um, they are divorced, so I do have to um, take care of my mum a little bit. She was affected quite badly by it. But I would say that uh, there are times when I've been happier at home than I've been here. Um, have you ever had any past medical, uh, significant medical no. Any psychiatric problems before? No. Um, I have a few questions that I have to ask everyone, so don't worry about them, they're just standard questions. Okay. Um, have you ever, do you drink alcohol? Well, socially, no. Yeah. No. Do you smoke? No. Any drugs? No. Um, are you on any current medication? No. And no allergies? No, not at all. Brilliant. Um, do you ever feel um, sensitive or teary? Yeah, but you know, that's standard, isn't it? You kind of have off days. Um, yeah, they come and go. Do you ever feel angry or irritable? Um, well, my mood changes a little bit now and then. The girls mentioned that, but nothing, you know, over the top. Kind of really angry, but just a bit irritable. Now. No problems with the police or violence or no. Um, how do you get on with people in general? Mm, I, I generally I warm up to people quite quickly. Um, with the girls, I think it's easier for me with the girls sometimes, but especially since I've come to uni, it's it's become a bit harder to just feel like I'm fitting in. Um, and especially with me new guys as well, it's sort of a lot harder for some reason. I think it's just a sense of low self-esteem now, but I don't know. Do you think, would you say you've got quite a lot of friends? Um, yeah, well, a, a, a good number, I'd say. Um, some I'm closer to than others. Yeah. Would you say you feel stressed with work or uni or anything like that? Um, Sometimes, but I, I try to just get by. 
realise that um, it's, it's not so much work all the time, it's just so much how I feel I look, to be honest. <laughs> but yeah. Um, so you're living in halls at the moment? Is that right? Um, who, do you, who would you say um, support comes from? Is it your friends or your family? Well, friends here, because I don't really see my family that much, and phone call doesn't always cut it. Following from con uh, consultation with Yvette, uh, the psychiatrist might wish to take a mental state examination, abbreviated as MSE, and this involves checking for appearance, behaviour, speech, mood, uh, perception, thoughts, cognition and insight. Now, um, firstly, the psychiatrist would look at mood, uh, sorry, appearance, and uh, the things that are involved in looking at appearance is very simply the apparent age, the racial origin of the patient, um, the level of cleanliness, whether the patient is kept, kept or unkempt, uh, and uh, the general physical condition of the patient. Then we would progress to assessing the behaviour of the patient, and this involves uh, looking at the appropriateness of behaviour, whether the patient is agitated, whether the patient is looking down or not making eye contact, or whether the patient is uh, particularly aggressive towards the, the psychiatrist, um, and whether the patient is easily distracted or not. So we'll, following from behaviour, look at speech. We would assess the, the volume, the rate, uh, and the content of speech, and this can be assessed as well during consultation. We would then assess the mood of the patient, and this involves looking at uh, whether the patient is anxious or not, whether the patient is aggressive, and again, this could come across uh, as uh, behavioural um, movements. Um, and then we would look at the perception of the patient, so whether the patient is having any um, ideas or hallucinations or visions uh, that might be particularly uh, pertinent or uh, related to the patient's um, illness. Uh, we would then assess uh, the thought of the patient, whether the, the patient has a constant flow of ideas, uh, whether the patient um, maybe has some uh, delusions, uh, whether the patient has uh, particular goals or not. Uh, we would then look at the cognition of the patient, uh, whether the patient uh, is attentive, uh, whether the patient can concentrate in the consultation, uh, and whether the patient can comprehend what the psychiatrist is saying. Uh, we would assess the memory of the patient and uh, whether the patient would under understands the particular illness he or she is facing. Um, and that concludes this mental state examination. Thank you. As you can see, taking a psychiatric history can be a difficult procedure. But by being prepared and by having a systematic approach, you can gather all of the information you need to have to make a suitable diagnosis.